What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Mario. We're back with another video. This video, um, I actually got it requested through uh, one of the comments in our last video. Um, we kind of wanted to know what are the uh, best injectors to get like the most bang for your buck, and some of the injectors that I use, we're going to be talking about in this video. Um, let me know what injectors you guys like to use. Uh, drop a comment and let me know in the video. Um, if you guys definitely like the video, hit the like button, drop a comment possibly subscribe it'll really help out the channel but we're gonna get right into it right now So for the first injector that we're going to talk about that I use um, is the Propitol. And what it does is it's going to remove pain. It's going to remove concussion help, and add to your health regeneration by boosting your metabolism, your health, and your vitality. Only side effects are hand tremors and tunnel effect after it wears off. So you'll see your vision kind of start to go a little bit. And like those are just some of the basic side effects that would come with popping stems. Um, so an example of when I would pop this is if I know I'm going to get into a, a fight, like 100% no. I'll pop morphines um, as kind of like a uh, like a preventative, like if I get surprised. But Propitol, if I'm definitely going in to fight a couple of different guys, because I'm, I know I'm going to take hits, right? So like by popping the Propitol, you're removing the pain. So it's a painkiller. So you're still able to run if you get hit in the legs. If you get hit in the limbs, you're automatically going to start uh, getting... Uh, that health regen going uh, so now if your limbs blacked out you know it's not going to obviously regen that so you have to use a cms kit um, to keep that health uh, regen process going the next uh, stem that we're going to talk about is the adrenaline injector so this is obviously going to remove pain remove concussion um, it's going to boost your endurance and your strength help with your recoil control help with help with your health regeneration um, side effects are obviously like hydration is going to take a little bit of a hit your energy recovery is not you're not going to recover energy as fast and then your stress resistance is going to go down for by 10 for about 60 seconds so like since it boosts my strength and endurance what i usually do is like if i kill a bunch of players and i decide hey i'm gonna head out of i'm gonna head out of this raid i'm gonna go straight to extract and i take all their gear um my normal weight when i come into a raid is probably between like 29 and 31 kilograms i usually like don't like to go like over um because the heavier you are the more knowledge you're gonna make and your energy recovery is going to go a lot less so when you have all this gear from other players you pick it up you weigh a lot more so this strength is going to help you be able to carry more for about 60 seconds so i'll usually pop this if i'm trying to get out of like a bad bad scenario or if i'm just carrying a bunch of stuff and i'm trying to like haul it to extract another stem that i use is the sj6 so what this does is it gives me 30 max stamina for 240 seconds um, and it gives me stamina recovery plus two so i'll be generating stamina uh, a little bit faster than you normally would and you can run like from one side of the map all the way to the other side of the map maybe on like two two stamina bars depending on the size um so what i'll end up doing is i'll end up if i'm taking a bunch of player stuff on the side of the head for extract i'll pop the adrenaline and i'll pop the sj6 so that way my stamina is my stamina is going up regenerating faster my strength and endurance is already regenerate regenerating faster from the endurance and i'm able to handle the weight that i'm carrying a lot better and i'm able to recover stamina so i can get to extract faster so another stim i like to use is the sj1 the combat stimulant injector uh, so what this is going to do this is also going to boost your endurance and your strength and your stress resistance so like if you're getting to, if you're going into a fight um, i usually don't pop this when i'm going into a fight i'll usually pop this sometimes in conjunction with my adrenaline or my sj6 just to like help with the stamina boost and the strength and then the um stress resistance um but this is actually good um when i do pop it before fights sometimes very rarely but what i'll do is i'll drop my backpack and then pop it because the boost in uh endurance strength and stress resistance you're gonna be moving around a lot faster another one that i think is uh 
pretty overlooked is the uh z augustan the hemostat dr drug injector so what this is going to do is it's going to stop light bleeds and it's going to stop heavy bleeds so you can actually pop it like it's like right before you get into a fight if you take a couple of hits to stop the bleeds it's going to boost your vitality skill so you'll be able to say you'll be able to have a little bit more life for about 180 seconds uh take a little bit of hit on your metabolism but it stops and prevents heavy bleeds so this is key when you're going into a fight if you decide to pop this your chance of preventing a bleed is actually going to go up a lot more so you may not bleed if you get into a fight you may just take limb damage another one i pop is uh the etg the uh the change regenerative uh stimulant injector this is obviously going to remove concussion it's not going to do anything for the pain but your health regeneration goes up um for about 60 seconds so 6.5 energy recovery is going to be increased a little bit metabolism and your skill immunity so like with your metabolism anything that you eat or drink um it's going to help with that um energy recovery skill endurance and skill health um it's it, you're going to take a little bit of hit on it but it's really good for health regen it's actually a lot faster if you pop this over the propital but the propital removes pain so you kind of got to kind of got to know what you're popping and like every situation is going to be different but this is one that i also like to use now obviously one that i pop all the time is one of my favorites is obviously the morphine it's quick it's easy yeah you take a little bit of a energy drop and a hydration drop but if you were to pop an actual like regular painkiller it would like be a lot more but like the one thing i do like about injectors is the use time all these injectors take about two seconds to use but you get the removed pain effect for 300 seconds so even if you get shot in the legs for 300 seconds you can still like run around um and just be mobile so that way you're not getting like tapped in the legs and you're getting stuck so that's another one that i like to use so right here we're in an offline raid uh we're gonna go ahead and show you some of these injectors so right now the sj6 is what we have so we're actually gonna pop the sj6 and like i said it's gonna help with the stamina recovery and it gives you max stamina. So we're actually gonna run, and you'll see how far we can run with it. So the goal here is to make it as close as we can to the resort. But as you can see, my stamina bar is going down, but it's not going down as fast as it normally would. So we'll run as far as we can so you can see exactly like how far we can get off of it. Definitely one stem that I do like, especially if I'm trying to get out of raid quick, or if I got a couple minutes left to hit the extract, I always keep two SJ6s in my uh, injectors case. So now that we're on the roof, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to pop our propital. So right now, this is going to help with pain, removes concussion, and health rege and health regeneration as to our metabolism and our health and our vitality. So we're going to go ahead and pop that. Cool. So now we're not going to feel any pain. What we're actually going to do is we're going to jump off this roof. All right. So now broke my legs completely. My legs are blacked completely. So everything is pretty much like. I'm almost dead. So what this propital is going to do is actually it's going to help me regen stuff. So or regen my health. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the bleeds by popping the Z Augustin. So the bleeds go away. I'm still pretty jacked up. My head's black, but we're going to actually repair these limbs and you're going to see all the health regen come back. So since my head's black because we jumped, we're still on painkillers, so we're not going to we're not gonna die. Once the painkillers run out, we will die. So we're still regenerating our health. Our legs are completely blacked, but we're still able to run. Alright, so our health is still coming up. We're good to go. What we're going to do is we're going to extend the life of the painkillers by popping a morphine. 
but now we're up to 164 seconds plus 298 seconds so that's just as to our survivability next thing that we're going to pop is the etg which is the regenerative health simulator and this is going to boost our health so we can get more health faster it's a little bit better than the propotol as i was saying but you see how fast this is going up so as we continue to run around we're still getting health back so our legs are being healed our stomach our left arm our thorax our heads that we can't do surgery on our head so we're pretty much that's where we're gonna end up dying once the painkillers run out but this is just to show you exactly how good these stems are and this is why i run them so our health is still going up our max health is going to be 367 because obviously we're missing 35 from our head and we also have ibuprofen so that way we can take if we decide like, if this was the online raid obviously we'd be kind of screwed um because our head's black we have to keep popping painkillers but but be mindful our hydration is going to take a hit every time we use this that's why using the stems is so important because you don't take as much as a, you don't take as much hydration hit as you would if you take um like ibuprofen or painkillers so same thing with this removes concussion removes pain so we're going to extend our painkiller effect a little bit more so now we got 66 seconds 203 seconds 65 seconds left on the painkiller so we're we're, we're pretty much good if we wanted to leave right now we could the sj6 already ran out and then the sj1 also is going to help with endurance and strength so if we want to get out of here we can actually use that to run all the way to extract but you see how good these are and these are why i think these are the best bang for your buck there's a lot of other stims in this game that we we haven't covered and frankly i don't use them but eventually we'll do a video on recover um utilizing those stems so some of them uh actually have like really bad side effects like i think the old dose has actually a chance to kill you but you can see we're pretty much fine on painkillers heads blacked out we have a tremor but we're, we're good to go so we can actually extract right now if we wanted to so that concludes the video for the uh, injectors that I personally use and the ones I think you get the most bang for your buck. If you guys like the video, definitely don't forget to drop a like or a comment and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.